All right. Hello, fellow Peanuts fans. Thanks for bearing with me through the initial connection issues. Um, yeah. So tonight we're going to be opening a mystery box and looking at a few other things before we start. Now, uh, Rosa is still here. Molly is always here. Uh, so if things go haywire, they were just uh, play fighting a minute ago. <laughs> so, you know, we'll see what goes on. Uh, maybe we could get Molly down here. Molly! Here we go. Come here. Oh, oh. She's like, no, I don't want to see the... the Here we go. Should hopefully be able to see that. What's this? What's this? No? Here? Too much activity for Molly. She has run off. We have another biscuit for her, though. She'll probably come back. Hello, George. Thanks for joining us here tonight. A rainy Detroit. Well, it is raining here in Wisconsin, and that is why we're doing a live stream tonight. So hopefully the weather doesn't take out my internet connection. Uh, it shouldn't because it's just rain, but just putting it out there. <laughs> Sorry, I am distracted by the, the noisy dogs. <laughs> I think Alan's trying to coax Molly back. No, you're fine, Alan. All right, so last time we did a live stream, we opened a mystery box from Snoopy's Gallery and Gift Shop. And this was in it. And I never took a look at it because I was like, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't want to figure it out. It was a long day. So I figured it out. So we've got a, a Snoopy here. <laughs> Molly's back. And he's got a zipper in the back of his head. And you just pull out this fabric. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of those little, um, like styrofoam balls, like little tiny beads. And then we just push this inside. <laughs> here we go, here we go. And then uh, you would zip this up. It's a little awkward. And then you've got one of those uh, travel pillows. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and it's also got like a little snap here so it doesn't come off your neck. Uh, so I could, I could wear this for the rest of the live stream and everybody comes in and they're like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> A Snoopy neck brace. So that's that. A very fun pattern on this. And just to remind you, this is by Afternoon Tea and it's from Japan. It was uh, 3,900 yen. There we go, we're gonna throw this on the couch. <laughs> So, oh yeah, I see you said sound and video is good. So that's good. I'm just <laughs> glad to know. Uh, next we have Pop Mart Snoopy, the best friends. Uh, so I don't know if you were here for this, but we did some 
Pop Mart opening. Here is one of them. So I bought a box of 12 of these, the full set. And Pop Mart says on their website, if you get a double, that they'll replace it. And unfortunately, we got a double. It was mispackaged. There is a video on YouTube about it. So if you want to go see my disappointment. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I reached out. And long story short, they're not able to replace it. So uh, I had to settle for this. So we're going to open up this tonight. Let's show you another one. And a uh, spoiler alert, I did try and order the one I wanted from AliExpress. Uh, I think it was about $13 or so. And if you buy them by the set or individually, uh, they're about $15. So I might be getting a deal. I might get nothing. Who knows? Who knows? As long as I haven't lost my money, I will be happy. Uh, it, it would be nice to get the figurine I wanted. Uh, so one thing that led me to AliExpress is online searches, obviously. Uh, another Peanuts user, uh, I want to say Kareen. Uh, so shout out to her. And also, when this one got sent, uh, the United States Postal Service sends me emails saying packages are coming in. And it said one was coming in from AliExpress, and I hadn't ordered anything. So, yeah, it was this. Let's get it open. And if you're out there, say hello in the chat. Let me know where you're from. Oh. Oh, I forgot to do I forgot to do the internet thing of which one do you want? Hopefully, hopefully you can see this okay. There's a motorcycle, jack in the box, uh, fishing, comic break, roller skating, coffee and pancakes, piano, baseball, and sunbathing so oh and then there's a secret that's the flying ace that would be cool to get um i kind of want the roller skating one if i if i had to go for just one which is what i'm doing i i don't know which one this is going to be it's just random well that didn't work <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is not the one we got. <laughs> All right, we got our desiccant. <laughs> There's a little card in here. A uh, classical piano. I'm assuming that's what's in here. But you know, from my experience, one in 12 is not what is on the card. Indeed, we got the piano. Okay. I, I, do I have a scissor? Do I have a scissor? I used to have a scissor. Nope. I wonder what happened to the scissor. All right, we have tiny woodstock and piano here. Hopefully you can see that all right. I like how the uh, headphones look like uh, musical notes. Like his head has been trapped between a musical note of that type. I don't remember what it's called. All those years of piano, music lessons. I don't remember. And then we have Snoopy who's playing the piano. 
So that's very cute. It's a very hefty figurine for Snoopy. This is really light. And you can see it says Pop Mart 2024 on the bottom. Let's just set this out here. Et voila! Ta-da! <laughs> So yeah, um, uh, I mean, this is really cute, and at least they sent me something, and I didn't have to send anything back, but I am very miffed that they did not have a replacement when they said they would. And also, if I can just buy it off of Valley Express, well, oh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All right, I'm going to put this on the shelf over here by, by this biscuit, apparently. Let's put this biscuit up higher where she cannot reach it at all. I don't want her to be crafty and she comes in here and she's like, I'm going to get a biscuit for myself. Okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. Hopefully that stays. All right. Who else is here? Snoopy and Christopher Productions 2023. Hello. I assume it is Schroeder's Piano. I mean, where else would Snoopy get a piano? Now this is what I teased. If you're here from the teaser, we have a box of stuff that my mother bought at an estate sale. Uh, we found out about it, I don't know, at least a week or two early. Um, just search online for estate sales in your area. And uh, yeah, so they have a, they had a crap ton of photos for this estate sale. They did an amazing job. Um, Shout out to them if they know who they are. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so they had a ton of photos. So I went through and made my list, checked it twice. And mom was nice enough to go out and buy me a bunch of things. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's an estate sale. So uh, not you're not guaranteed to get everything. Uh, she got there as early as possible. Uh, I want to say it was probably like a two-hour drive for her or so. So uh, everybody say thank you to my mother in the comments. Thanks, Mom, <laughs> if you're watching. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is what she brought back for me. She, she actually talked to me on the phone, and I was just like, just buy whatever. <laughs> we have to go back to work. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, I got a day job. Got to upload those PDFs to websites. That's that's my day job. So that's that's where this stuff came from. So thank you to whoever no longer needed these. I'm going to give them a good home or find new homes for them. Uh, speaking of which, soccer puzzle. I used to play soccer. Uh, this is from Springbok. I'm going to have to do this puzzle to see if it's complete. Like a little video. Mini jigsaw. Love these. And also a ton of greeting cards. So many rubber bands. Oh, look, look at the color of this one. Ooh, that's a good pink. I'm just amazed by this, the silliest things. I'm not going to take you through all of these. Did they organize these by like holiday? That's amazing. Yeah. And these look like they're probably, I don't know, 90s or something. Does it say? Well, it's, it says UFS on the back. Um, I think this would be 90s based on that logo. 
Um, if it's UFS, then it's pre uh, 2011, I want to say. I think I'd know these things, you know, supposedly being an expert. Oh, that's an older one. Nice. I like that there's a variety of ages. This is just older. Eh. <laughs> is this one of those cards that you can't open? No, it's not. I'm just, I just can't open things. My guess is this one is from the 80s. All right, and we have Easter cards. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's another older one. We got an orange rubber band. Let's just, let's just pull a couple out. Got the Easter bunny. Oh, this one's cute. Look at that. That's right up my alley. Oh, this is an ambassador. Uh, I'm guessing this is 80s, maybe maybe early 90s. I don't, I, you know, it's, it's something I should look up is when exactly peanut, not peanuts, Hallmark got rid of ambassador. There's an older one. And this one is em embossed. That. You can see the embossing. Okay. Keep these organized. I suppose I could, I could put the rubber bands back on them. We've got Thanksgiving here. Oh, nice. Uh, my last name is Pilgrim, so it's just kind of our holiday. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that's a good one. I like how Peppermint Patty is asleep. Uh, let's see. Here's here's another older. Oh, here. Let's do this Linus one. Wait, there's one in the... Oh, no, there's two. <laughs> I thought there was one in the envelope. Let's be thankful for good health, good friends, and good times. That's a good message for any day. And let the good times roll. All right. There's a lot of uh, greeting cards in here. Let's pick one at random. Here we go. We've got a Charlie Brown. Every year you're supposed to look older, feel older, act older. Hey, you're not playing by the rules. Happy birthday. That's nice. I like the watercolor background there. All right. Oh, we've got... I think these might be more birthday. Oh, we've got Linus and Lucy again. Oh, no, this is secretaries. Secretaries are the best. The best what? Oh, that's weird. The best everything. <laughs> oh, we got a, another Lucy here. This is an older one from Hallmark. I want you to know what you're going to do about it. And on the back here, there's Snoopy on a seesaw. That's interesting that they splashed out for color on the back. Holy cow. I'm going to skip some of these because there's a lot to go through tonight. We've got more Thanksgiving. We have, oh, this might be Valentine's Day. We're going we're gonna to pop one of these open. Here we go. This is Easter. <laughs> I have no idea what this says. That, that's not a language I took. So, 
I, I'll let somebody else translate. Hope your Easter is as fun and as great as you. It's a, it says on the back. General cute Spanish. It says it right there. Did, did I pull one out without a envelope? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Got graduation. We have more birthday. Gosh, I'm so curious about what's inside of all these. But we'll be here forever if I go through all of them. Okay, St. Patrick's Day. You just you don't see a lot of St. Patrick's Day. Okay, maybe maybe the only the first couple. Oh, there's a, there's doubles. Somebody can buy one. We've got Woodstock. Just wanted to send you a little note on St. Patty's Day. Oh, there's, there's even more. Wow. Huh. Oh my goodness. Do you see what I see? Okay, um there's the top of the card. So I think this is like you, uh, the store associate would unbag this and put it in the display. This is like straight from the Hallmark store and they never even put it out. Oh, another St. Patrick's Day. That's, that's really cute. Guess what's going on my Instagram next St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> Definitely that. Wishing you lots of luck and cheer. All right. Let's put some of these away here. Oh, hello, mother. <laughs> Everyone say hello to my mother in the chat. Hello, Nick. Uh, hello, XMD007. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. If I did, I'm sorry. And shout out to you. And we have a Snoopy plush here. This is Valentine's Day. Do we have a year? Nope. Oh, why would we why would we put years on things? It's very cute. It looks like he's got a little pilling on the back, but that's what shavers are for. He's he's in pretty decent condition though. That's a good find. Okay. Oh, is there something wrapped in this? Oh, <laughs> this is a shower curtain and it still has uh, the shower curtain rings on it. I'm going to put some of these greeting cards on the floor before they tumble down. And then I have a humongous mess to clean up. Oh, look at all those rubber bands. Oh, oh there we go. I'm sorry I can't show you this whole thing. You've got Snoopy the Flying Ace. Oh, it's got, it's got a shower curtain liner that wouldn't have come with it. This is just a fabric shower curtain. I think this came out in the 90s. Uh, this Peanuts gang ch carrying Charlie Brown and Snoopy was very popular back then. There's hopefully another view of it. It's so weird because with my regular camera, I have a little screen so I can tell what's on screen, but this is using my phone, so I have no idea. Looks to be in decent condition. Could probably use a good wash. See a little bit of staining, but I figured it could make a nice backdrop if I needed it. Okay, I'm gonna throw this on the couch. Perfect. Oh, that's all this. Oh, here you go. Peanuts shower curtain. Now you get to see the whole thing. 
Jay Franco. They still do um, peanut stuff. I think they rebranded as just Franco. Interesting. <laughs> All right, we have Unseen Peanuts, the free comic book day comic. I already have one of these, so if you need one of these, please reach out. Oh, there's a note from Jeannie Schultz in here. I, yeah, that's printed. There's a note. And this is by Fantagraphics. They did uh, the Complete Peanuts, the like hardcover book series. And this is strips that were, were quote unquote lost. It looks like, I, I should like read this sometime. It's been so long. Looks like there's some commentary. Maybe they tell you why it was left out of reprints. Anyway, interesting stuff there. Um, I don't, I don't know if you can hear this, but Rosa is whining. I don't know exactly why. Um, she does this every night. I think it's because she wants more food. Uh, anyway, we have Snoopy Magazine. This was for, well, it says a magazine for preschoolers and their parents. I think I've done videos on maybe at least one of these. Um, it's it's uh, definitely kid oriented. I think my favorite part is always the centerfold because it's a poster. It, this is a lot of issues of Snoopy Magazine. This is a good find. Oh, here we go. We've got Jill Schultz and Spike from The Girl in the Red Truck. Is it right there? Yeah, I don't think I have all these, Mom. Now I'm going to be, like, talking to my mother, and she can't talk back. <laughs> Oh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so there's a Christmas one. We have spring, 1989. We've got summer, 1989. Fall, 89. Winter, 90. And finally we have Spring in 1990. Yeah, I definitely don't have some of these. Do they? Hopefully, they all have their posters. Oh, yep, that one's got its poster. The other fun thing about these is the old ads and stuff. I say old, but they don't feel that old to me. <laughs> I would have been about 10 when these came out, so I would have been a little too old for these. Uh, Snoopy Around the World. Uh, I had mom pick this up because I know it's a popular book and somebody's going to want this. This thing is full of beautiful outfits uh, designed by uh, fashion designers like high, high priced ones. <laughs> Like, uh, this one is Mary Mako. That's one I've heard of. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Let's see what else we got. Miss Sony. I've heard of that. It's that one. Uh, I've, I haven't heard of either of these. <laughs> I guess I don't, I don't know uh, fashion, unless it's the big names. There's, there's Bob Mackey. There we go. That is quite the suit on Snoopy. I love it. 
so these are really fun books to look through. So we got Bill Blass and Nina Ricci. Dang, that's quite the dress. Anyway, I would love to make my own outfits for Snoopy and Belle, but I just, I don't have a fashion house. <laughs> Get there someday. We have a Snoopy air freshener and another Snoopy air freshener. And plus we can save 75 cents now on wheat thins. It doesn't say what year. I wonder, was, was this always on here? Or did it like just... I can't imagine that's supposed to be on there. Somebody wrote for your car on there. Yeah, I'm going to pull it off. Executive decision. Oh, guys, there's no expiration date. It literally says no expiration date. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> The coupon is still good. All right. We've got Peanuts Classics. It's great to be a superstar. I don't see this uh, version of the books very often. These came out in the 90s. And so when I see these, I tend to pick them up because there's got to be some collector out there looking for these. And they're not super easy to find. This is um, an owl book. We have All About Friendship. This is from Hallmark again. <sighs> oh man, this has a lot of writing in it. Oh well. Well, somebody put their phone number in it. Okay, don't call that phone number. Who knows who's gonna answer. Anyway, so we've got that book. We have Press out dagger. Oh, these are soccer. No wonder. I'm gonna see if I can flip through these a little bit. Oh, this is this is basketball. <laughs> Football. We have cheerleading and bicycling. And a lot of running there. That, that's that's some great imagery. Look, we got Lucy wearing glasses. And that Sally with the radio. It's just not something you see often. Oh, wow. What? Is this a giant greeting card? I think it is. Oh, that's a great find. I, I love a giant greeting card because you can just, like, put them on a shelf and... Just display it all nice. Oh, that's cute. Is this a greeting card? <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it's weird. It, it has a weird fold. Then, giant Thanksgiving card. Dang. Oh, 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 maybe it isn't. It sort of is. Oh, you can display it. So, it's a greeting card. But then you can also display it. So that's cool. Why don't they do that anymore? Oh, nice. We've got a... Uh, this is not a greeting card. This is a gift box. So, go like this. And you'd fold, you'd fold in these sides. Lock it in. I don't, I don't know that this has ever been used. Like, this has obviously been taken off, but I don't think the box has been used because this is still there. It's very cute. I like this color scheme. It makes me feel like it's 90s. This is by Hallmark by The Package Works. Okay. 
That is the end of that box. We're going to put a little bit of this away. And then get out the next box. And I think Mom has more boxes than this. This is just what she brought over for Easter. So, um... Stay tuned to like and subscribe so you can see the next haul. <laughs> All right. Pardon me. All right. Oh my goodness, this box is so heavy. <sighs> Let's just check in. Hello, everybody. Is anybody new in? Doesn't look like it, but that's all right. We have a nice intimate gathering here. Oh. Check my microphone here. All right, first we have a beach towel, which is going to be difficult to show. We will do our best. Here we go. Summer. I don't know what this one is. Got summer. We have ooh, Snoopy and Woodstock, and they are on a um, inner tube, if you can see that. I think Woodstock is fishing. And then at the bottom, it says time. This is a uh, UFS. Oh, this is a uh, J Franco again. It's a nice towel. I would recommend. It's not one of those like really cheap ones. You know the kind. All right, throwing it on the couch. I see Molly. Would you like a biscuit? Would you like another biscuit? She's standing at the top of the stairs. Molly? Come. Biscuit. Biscuit? Right here. Right here. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you should have been able to see that. You want to come on my lap? To be fair, she's a little heavy for my lap. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to get out another biscuit for Rosa. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Rosa? No. Rosa, no. No. Come here. Come on. Molly, come. Molly, come. Molly, come. All right. Well, that's it. That's it. That's all you're getting. Watch out for the tripod. N not that you know what that is, but. So Rosa is the in-laws dog. Oh, hopefully this is in a, a good spot. Uh-oh. And they're fighting. <laughs> Rosa is the in-laws dog and they're out. So we're watching her again. Oh, 
auf. We have a couple of night lights here. We got a Charlie Brown and a Joe Cool. These are going to go in the shop. So anybody that wants to support the site, come buy some stuff in the shop. There we go. Where do I go next? Here we go. We've got a set of PVCs here. I'm using my microphone again. Uh, these are by Applause from the 1990s. Uh, you could buy these separately. So if you see them alone, it's not necessarily somebody broke up a set because you can get them alone. And these look to be in really great shape, probably because they've been in the package. That's going in the shop. Oh my goodness, this polonaise box is huge. <sighs> what is all this? What did I get myself into? Separately, who knows, these might have been in a set and somebody decided to put them on display and the box is gone. But yeah, get those in the shop. I, I might have some, maybe not all of these in the shop, but I do have a lot of PVCs out there because I know people like them. More crinkles incoming. Oh. Thank you. Oh, we've got another applause here from about the same era. This is Woodstock. Oh, obviously. Here I am telling you who the characters are. And... Oh, we got a Schroeder. That one's always popular. And also by applause, these are a little bit older. This is Snoopy on a skateboard. You can see that. <laughs> we got Charlie Brown here. Baseball. We don't see these ones as much. We also got a Snoopy baseball. We have a Whitman's baseball. These were from, I was going to say surprise tins, but these weren't in the surprise tins. So these had their own, like, summer box. I don't know that they did that very long. But they did make some cute PVCs. And then we have a bride and groom. These are also going in the shop. Because... Uh, people like to use these as cake toppers, which makes sense. Can't really get peanuts cake toppers. And let's just overlook the fact that uh, hopefully this isn't actually Belle. Because Belle is Snoopy's sister, not girlfriend. Here we have, I think this is the one I'm going to keep. <laughs> I uh, we've got Snoopy and Woodstock with a gift box. This is, I believe, Christmas, but it, it's got hearts on the box, so maybe it's Valentine's. Uh, this is by Applause as well. And then this one, I don't remember if this is Applause or Determined, but we have Belle here as a nurse. Very cute. I'm pretty sure I have that one. Where to? Maybe maybe I'll move these things over. There's a lot in this box. Hmm. 
This is heavy. Oh. Wow. It it came out okay. Oh, that that is pretty spectacular. I'm so glad it didn't break. Uh, I, I don't know how well you can see this in this light, but this is a Marquis Waterford crystal clock. I don't know that the time is working. I th think... There's got, there's got to be a way to, like, pop out the dial and put in a new battery. I don't know how to do that, though. There's, there's nothing on the back. You have to go in from the front. Oh, there is a label. There we go. I'm going to put this on our shelf. <laughs> okay. That's in a safe spot now. Oh, <laughs> more crystal. What's in here? Uh. <laughs> Photo frame. Again, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this. We've got Snoopy here. We got Woodstock down here. Uh, it feels like some paw prints. And then Charlie Brown. It's got uh, like an acrylic topper for keeping your frame, your picture in the frame. And then there is a label there. It's it's really hefty. You, you really don't see anything like that. How does this... Okay. You know, like when you go to the thrift stores, you usually don't see crystal just sitting there in some pile. Uh, there we go. There we go. What's this? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> oh, it's not heavy. It was just kind of stuck. Stuck is the same thing as heavy, right? We have a picture album here. This is from, I want to say the 90s. I think I already have one of these. So I can put this in the shop. It doesn't, it doesn't say, it never says. But this, this hasn't been used. You can put all your own photos in there. Just, just take your phone. Just take your phone, put it in a pocket. You're good to go. All done. <laughs> There's nobody here to like laugh at my jokes. It could be falling completely flat. Here we go. Ooh. I spy with my little eye. A puzzle. Uh, this is a greeting card puzzle. Uh, I, 
I have this uncanny knack of being able to see things sometimes. And I think I spotted this. Mo Mommy can tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, you gotta buy that puzzle even though there's no box because it never had a box. So I will have to do a video on this. This is a Thanksgiving greeting card puzzle. But uh, I think it's awesome that I was able to find one out of the package and hopefully complete. We'll find out. We'll find out. I spotted these. Ooh. We have some Whitman's Halloween PVCs. These are always a little bit harder to come by. So when I get the opportunity to buy a bunch of these, I'm gonna get some for the shop. These need some cleaning. I think what happens is the PVC gets a little sticky over time and then it just everything sticks to them. So you just need to take some dish soap and clean them up and they'll be good to go. And I think we've seen a Frankenstein. Here we go. All right, we're getting down to not a lot. Ooh, not a lot left, I should say. Oh, boy. Here we have, oh. We have the Polonaise box here. Does it say what year? Oh, there's like a fancy metal thing on it. What does this say? P Polonaise collection, handcrafted by Camosia. And then limited edition 0695, I think it says. Uh, out of 3,000. Made in Poland, originally $150. Dang. Oh yeah, it says Kamoja on, on the front here. That must be the, like the, uh, manufacturer sounds too basic. The craftsman maybe? We've got, a note there from the Matowski family. I'm not gonna read that right now. Okay. Oh, we have Charlie Brown. I, I don't know that these have ever been out of this box. Got to get a proper Christmas tree one of these years so I can put up all the peanuts ornaments. It'll be like cordoned off so nobody can touch it. Oh, yeah, I should show the back. I'm not going to pull off the foam right now because it might take some time to do it just right. And we have, oh, I wish they wouldn't put price tags like on the merchandise as it were. It is what it is. This one is the year 2000, 50th anniversary. Now I am noticing that there's some crazing on there. I'm, I'm betting they all did that. It's still really nice. So we got, this, this must be the, oh, that's the final date of the strip. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Snoopy. Ooh. 
We have Santa Snoopy. Oh yeah, see that? That's like stuck to his nose. And there we go. Put this egg crate back in. Make sure they're all in there well. So yeah, we got this for $80. And uh, th this is an excellent example of when collectibles don't necessarily go up in price like this is a beautiful piece and it's in great condition and uh we're getting it for about half price <laughs> maybe maybe less i don't know uh yeah so there's the price tag i don't think we bought this when it first came out because you know 150 bucks is a lot in the year 2000 it's a lot right now <laughs> There's like a couple more big things. I'm going to go put this in a safe spot. All right, we have a 16 month calendar poster. I hope, hopefully that's far enough back. I don't remember this. Andrews and McNeil, okay? They made, they made a lot of calendars. They still do. Nice. So this starts in September. So this is basically a school year calendar. Yeah. Again, we got, we got this for half price because it was originally ten dollars. So that's a good deal. And of course it has the image that I said was really popular in the 90s and it's obviously from 2014 but you know it stayed popular. All right. We have we have one really big thing to come out. Oh, there we go. We're going to get rid of this box. Here is our final piece of the evening. If you guys have questions, be sure to put them in the comments. Uh, this is by Department 56. I have a bunch of Department 56 village pieces that, you know, again, one of these Christmases, I'm gonna be able to get that out again. I do have a video on this channel from quite a few years ago where you can see my video you can see my village oh uh, yeah maybe if I push from the bottom uh, yeah aha uh -huh. Put on your 3D glasses. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm stuck here now. 
Oh boy. I think this had batteries. <laughs> Another thing to fix. Oh, this is real. This is huge. I think this is bigger than my village, even though it's Department Fifty Six. I can still put it in my village. It doesn't need to be scale accurate. Yeah. Well, what is going on there? Yeah, they didn't take out the batteries. Ugh. Oh. Always, always take out the batteries. Always. That's going to take some doing. Eh. Luckily, Alan is, uh, my partner is, very handy and also an electrical engineer. So, I mean, that doesn't really say that he's elect anyway. We can fix this. Alan can fix this. Hopefully I can just fix it. But if, if I can't, then we have Alan to step in and help out. That is a really nice piece. It looks like the tree needs a little bit of adjustment there, but not bad. I'm going to try and turn this over and see what we got. It's kind of like hot glued in. Well, this was originally $55. Do we have a year? It does say UFS on it, though. Uh, yeah, so so I think if um, we were to have to completely redo this, we would probably have to cut the cord and solder a new one on or something. I don't know. I am not an electrician. But hopefully I can clean up this battery pack and get this thing working again. If If you'd like to support my efforts to keep wonderful collectibles working be sure to uh support me at patreon.com and maybe someday we'll have so much support i won't have to sound like a broken record <laughs> oh we'll get you working again snoopy and friends all right oh i shouldn't i should check this out hello there everybody Hello, Rose. Hello, M. Stimson. <laughs> oh. Do do we have any questions? Any questions? Yeah, I, uh, I see mom says she has five more boxes, so that's that's good for probably at least three more live streams. Um, yeah, and I always have more boxes we can go through. Uh, and I have some others on the way. Spoiler alert. I, I don't I don't even know if that's really a, a spoiler anymore. Oh. All right. Well, it doesn't seem like you guys have any questions. Um, and it is, it's getting late. Well, it's 830. So um, I think we're going to call it there. I want to say thank you to everybody for being here with me and opening all these lovely goodies. And of course, remember, thank my mother in the comments or in the chat, because without her making that trek, early in the morning to go buy all this stuff and 
getting it all up to the the checkout in this house from the basement and uh, making deals and (laughs) packing it all in the car and making sure it got to her house safe and then to my house safe. It, she she did a lot to make this happen. So uh, yeah, everybody thank her. I'm just I'm just sitting here showing it to you. And yeah, uh, yeah. thanks, mom. <laughs> uh, if um, if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to talk about in future videos, please let me know. Um, you can find me on most social networks. And, of course, at collectpeanuts.com, where there's articles about collecting peanuts. There's photos of my collection. Uh, I started the website in about 2003, so some of those photos are very old. (laughs) And, yeah, it's a very old website. It's still there and also we have a shop please buy something uh give these snoopy vintage collectibles a home because uh right now they're just you know they sit in boxes in my basement and that's no good it's a it's a very dry basement do we take good care of that basement it's a it's a newish house so thank goodness We also, we also make sure it doesn't um, get that basement odor. That's very important to me and other people, I'm sure. Um, it, yeah, I, I just heard Alan say it's a climate-controlled warehouse. <laughs> he's, he's listening from afar. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call it there, guys. Uh, have a lovely week. And I will see you the next time it rains. <laughs> Bye, everyone. All right. Now I have to get out of here. Here, there. Why is there no obvious stop button? Maybe that. Okay.